This is code.org, and we're going to make this awesome little frog game. Ooh, I'm getting the fly. I'm actually doing so much better than I was when I practiced. Yes, I practiced before I started this video. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing is building something very similar to this. That being said, this frog jumping game is an example of a side-scroller. Side-scrolling games have backgrounds moving across the screen. Yes. I want to point out, too, uh, my students, you already have this. Project guide. This is super helpful. You want to plan out your game. It helps you do less work so you don't make mistakes, honestly. I've just started filling it out as an example, so what do I want to keep the same? I like the jumping object component. Bonus point for the fly game over screen. I was thinking of a second level on a windscreen, and I want to change up the sprites. So the game has three sprites, your choice. So this is where we can start changing. Choose what you want your player to be. And then background, right? A brief sketch of that and the interactions that are taking place, such as the is touching component of this and then we'll reflect okay so that being said let's go ahead and we're using the arrow keys we've i've played it a few times let's keep going let's get started i'm gonna hit finish here and continue first up in this lesson let's see draw your background the same the sample game had a simple background of a blue sky a white oval on a brown ground you can choose to make your background as simple or as complicated as you want now keep in mind this is saying draw it so we're going to draw it Find the code component, slash, slash, or the, uh, oh, it does say comment, comment background. Use your drawing tools to draw the background. Run the program to test. All right. Mine will be similar, so I'm headed into drawing, and obviously background. We want it here at the top, because this way, each time the draw loop runs, which does happen 30 times a second, it will wipe out what was on the screen, and then draw all the new stuff on top of it. Otherwise, it will look like the stuff smears across the screen, you want to cover it up before redrawing this stuff 30 times a second. Um, so my background, I was going to make like a spacious, spacious, a space age game. So maybe a pink sky would be interesting. And then let's see what color that. Eh, what about orange? Let's see my options here. Oh, they don't go. Okay. Um, Hmm, actually, I'm going to do yellow for my space background. All right, and now I want to, I want a sun and a moon both visible to make it weird. So I'm going to grab the ellipse here, one and two, okay? And then remember X, Y, location, width, and height. So my X, Y, I'm going to put one like here-ish. So we'll say 50, 50, 50 for X, 50 for Y. And I was thinking, well, maybe 50 all the way across. So that's this one up here. That's looking good. I'm going to do no stroke so it doesn't have a outline. Okay. And let me do my fill colors. So for this one, I'm going to say maybe maroon, if that works. Now keep in mind, your fill has to be above the item you want. Computers run code in order. So if you do not put your fill above the ellipse, above your item, it will not work. Now, it will make everything now maroon until I put a different fill which I'm going to do for this guy. So fill, um, yeah, yellow we wouldn't see, maybe orange. Oh, it's defaulted to that. What if we did? <laughs> sure, and I'm gonna make this one a bit smaller, I guess. So we'll do 40, 40, and I want it over here-ish. I'm gonna do 300X and 100Y. Oh, wow right here and see that doesn't look hmm I'm gonna make this gray and I'm using gray because I already made this maroon I guess I could pull it above it but I think it's more clear if I do this and let's put it at the same height I guess maybe it will be more obvious what it is maybe even a bit bigger and this is kind of fun we get to choose how or what we want it to look like Perfect. So here's the start of my scene. I also am going to want ground, and for that I'll just use a rectangle. And I'm going to use a different color for this. I'm thinking maybe a tan color? Yep, and then I need it way down here, so X would be starting at 0. And the bottom of the screen is 400, so maybe Y would be 350. And then for the size, keep in mind 0 to 400. So for the width, 400, and then for the height, um, I'm going to do 50 since I'm going down to 350. Let's see. 
And I might actually bump this up to 300, which will raise it, because if you look at Y, 300 is about there. And then I would need this to be 100. That is looking good to me. So, ta-da, my game so far. We got a background. Let's uh, keep going.